Hey everyone, this is Steve from Blockboy Games, and I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you back to part 23 of my playthrough of Dishonored 2. Now you may notice that we are at the intro screen, and there's a reason for that. As always, my pleasure, my privilege, and my pride to bring you these videos, and you may notice the prevailing preponderance of words starting with P. Now you might be <laughs> pissed about that. But you know what? Poo to that. Poo to that. Anyway, Emily and Corvo, get back there. Stay. Now, come here! Yeah. <laughs> now, get lost. Over there. Come here! Ah, this is not the playthrough you are looking through. Yes, it is. Anyway, enough of me stuffing around. Let's get down to business. So, wait, load. Campaign slot 03, and we want the, yeah, that's what we want. Because we were about to step through the door into, um, Arvin Stilton's house. Um, Alvin Stilton? I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. Look at this overseer shaking his fist. Is he about to cast a spell? And look at this guy. This guy he's fighting against looks like something out of the new Final Fantasy XV. Doesn't look like something out of Dishonored at all, does he? Really, look at that hair. Look at that hair. Only Japanese anime characters are allowed to have hair like that. You're not allowed to have hair like that in a Dishonored 2 game. Now, where are we? We were just about to step through here. Oh, I should have planned this out really better than this. Aramis. Oh, Aramis. Oh, I'm sorry, Aaron. Aaron, I'm just going to call you whatever the fudge I want because, you know, that's just how I roll. Anyway, let's, let's get in here. Yeah, come on. Go to Aramis Stilton's mansion. Sorry, I'm making you sit through another loading screen. Well, it's not even a loading screen. How do I do? I did pretty good. Look at me. Look at where my ball is hanging. Look at where my ball is hanging. I'm so proud right now. I could cry. So proud. Ah, oh, so proud. Only 12 hostiles killed, and only 33 detections. Wow. You know, um, I reckon I'm going to get a personal note of thanks from Arcane Studios for this particular effort. How do we do in other ways? Well, only two or five runes. Well, um, and only four of eight bone charms. Oh, that's right. I didn't go back and get all of them, did I? Well, you know what? I might turn this episode, and feel free to skip this episode if you want to, but I'm going to turn this episode into a little rune and bone charm hunt. And also maybe some blueprints. So, and you'll get to see how badly I suck at things. So, ah, uh, but let's continue. I'm totally going to go back. Totally going to go back. Hey everyone, this is Steve from Blockboy Games, and as mentioned earlier, we are going to turn this episode into a rune hunt. We're going to go and find all the runes instead of continuing through there, which we will do next episode. So hopefully I can what? kind of keep this entertaining. No way. What's gotten into you, fatty? Sorry, I mean, I shouldn't say that. I mean, I'm not calling a real life person fat. I'm calling an in-game character fat. So, you know, that's actually okay, you know, because I, I have a huge honor for actual living, breathing people. Therefore, I'm allowed to be dishonoring to NPCs that are not actual people. And please, please don't personify yourself as an NPC. You are not an NPC. You are a living, breathing, magnificent human being. You are not an NPC. So don't associate yourself with fat NPCs. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now, out with the heart. Out with the heart. And let's go... Whoa, did I get stuck? I did for a minute there. Um, okay, runes, let's see what's the closest one. 88 meters, 182 meters, 158 meters, 53 meters. And there's one directly under my feet, which I need to work out how to get. I need to work out how to get that. And I, I tr had a little brief look around for that one and I couldn't actually work it out. Um, I wonder. Uh, no, yes. Oh yeah, come on. Now is there anywhere to go from here? Well, there's not even anywhere to go from up here, so that was a total waste of everyone's time. Oh yeah. And now let's get downstairs. What happened here? I've got to work out how to get through there. Ah. Uh, 
Do we go around the outside? Um, this probably isn't going to end well, is it? No. I'm going to assume that you don't go around the outside. Alright, so no, no, it's not even going to let me blink around there. It's not going to let me... I wonder if I can blink up to that, you know, two mile distant pipeline. Nah, it's obviously an invisible wall there, so there's got to be another clever way in. Ah, oh, crap, I'm screwed. They require me to show some cleverness. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Um, alright. Now that was where I came from. There's no other obvious windows around here. I tried getting up there and couldn't get up there. Um, alright, so obviously some cleverness is required. Now this gate is required to be opened from the other side. Now how do I get to the other side and is there any windows? Um, I don't want to die! There's that gate on the other side. We need to get to that gate on the other side. That's what I've concluded. Let's go back to that other gate on the other side. There is a gate on the other side. The other gate on the side and we are going to get back there. That gate should be... I don't think this is going to get me anywhere at all, is it? No, nothing I can really do out there. So we're going to have to go all the way back around. And... Oh yeah, right. Wall of light. Wall of light. Is this the gate? Oh. Right, so obviously we're not getting through there either. But... Oh no, don't send a silver storm on me. Ah, right, nothing up there. Oh man, visibility. The worst time for a, you know, toxic silver dust storm. Of course, in my experience, there's never a good time for these things. Take that storm. Take that. Wait. I'm going to be a little sad if I needed that. So obviously there's windows there. There's nothing higher up. Don't think I can get to the top of that. Wow, we are failing hard. First rune and we're already failing. Well, as I've always said, if you're going to fail, it's important to get your failures out of the way early so that you can get on with, you know, not failing later on. So we'll get our fails out of the way early. We are going to find that sucker, I don't care. We are going to find it. Even if I do it in my own time, I'm going to have a little look around. Uh, let's see what's up there. Oh, I can't blink that far. Oh, whoops. We didn't let our mana recharge enough. Mm. There's got to be a way to get through there. Got to be a way. Frankly, this place needs some renovations. Alright, no possible way to get through anywhere up here. I mean, like, surely they can't mean us to fall down there. Nah, like, there's just nothing. There's not a ledge. There's not anything. So, no. And this is not usually how these games work. Nothing in the ceiling, nothing in the floor. Let's go through here, through this door. Let's get to that room, get to the core. Ah, man. So that I'm not poor. For sure. For sure. Sure. Three green balls, one green ball, one green ball hanging on a wall, one green ball hanging on a wall. And if somebody did something to them all, there'll be one green bottle sitting on a wall. Well, I'm going to sit here for a while and just do this. I'm all out of options here. All out of options. So, let's get out our rune again, and it's it's upstairs. It's not even down here. And there, there really doesn't seem to be a way to get through that anyway, so... Um... Let me at the rune. Alrighty. Where is it? Hang on. Um, no obvious bricks or anything. Wow, Megan Foster doesn't like me anymore. She doesn't like me. She's turning against me. She's turning against me. She is. That last conversation we had, 
passive aggressive to the maxo. To the maxo. Breakable door. Well, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try ourselves some grenades. How many grenades have we got? Four grenades. Let's just. Uh, oh crap! Alright, that was a failure. I didn't think that was gonna work. Didn't think that was gonna work. Now how do we, how on earth do we get that stupid rune? Alright, I give up. You know what, I give up. I'll, I'm gonna go and read online and get that one in my own time. But you guys are all witnesses. I failed to find that one that sword. under my own strength. Eh? Well. Alright, no, no, no killing civilians. No killing civilians. I think I said this in another video, but she really likes cocaine. She really likes cocaine. Alright, the next rune for me to fail at is right there. It's 11 meters away. Uh, and let's... I knew this world 15 years ago. Some part of me remains. But the world seems strange. Alright, uh, the world seems strange. Yes, thank you, mother. Bitch. Thanks for getting your best friend thrown out on the street so that later she would come back to murder me. Whoa! Whoa! Observational fail. Uh, alright. Success. My ego needs bolstering after my monumental rune failure last time round. Rune fail. Alright. Now we are going to go up there and do a little bit of exploring. How many... Oh yeah, we, we got so many bullets right now. So many bullets. So we are going to, you know, have a little look around here. Little look around. Wow. Someone likes playing the harp. Oh man, you can't play the harp with a sword. <laughs> Arcane Studios, I am disappointed. Right, now what's around here? Crossbow bolts. I'm full of crossbow bolts. Usually that's because, you know, I've been shot full of them. But in this case, it's because I'm carrying a whole lot of them. Doesn't seem to be anything really super extraordinary kicking around here. Let's see what's out here. Nothing, except another way in. Uh, well, there's nowhere else I can really get to up there. Unless there's another window up there. We are going to look just for the sake of completionist. And... Alright, no, we're not getting up there. As I knew we wouldn't be able to. Ah, uh, glass ceilings. Stop putting glass ceilings in. And I'm not even female, guys. Wait. Um, oh, no! No, oh, come on. Uh, where was that window? Hey, wait a minute. I'm going in here. Oh, yes, I'm going in here. I don't even... It couldn't have been the window I came out of because... Wait, what? Did, did they just rebuild the wood on that window, or did I... Oh, no, I came out of this window. Right, came out of that window. Come on, get in the window. Uh, in the window. It's a good thing I don't have to do that under duress, or with any form of urgency. Um, did I come in this room? Yeah, I'm going to assume I did. I'm going to assume I did. Now, uh, onwards, and by onwards, I mean onwards to the next bone charm. Alright, so the next bone charm is that way. Is there a closer one anywhere? 43 meters, 135 meters. Wait, what? Alright, 64 meters. Yeah, that was the rune I failed to find before. Alright, so let's do them in some form of order. Uh, that one. Let's get there and find that one shouldn't leave your furniture outside like I'm super intrigued about getting in that window I want to get in that window now sidetracked much hey you actually ca oh man oh I can get up there yes swing oh yes you may call me charge you may call me oh get out of there oh I'm not hiding anywhere, dude. There's like one of those beekeeper dudes in here. He's pretty mean. Alright, fine. I'm full of atomized solution. 
There's a book. Doctor's accounting book. We'll come back and we'll read that. Now, where is the dude? Ah, uh, he's not there. There's a lot. Ah, oh, yes. Two strikes. In bowling, that's a good thing. And in swordsmanship, that's also a good thing. Now, we need to keep our eyes out for, you know, the Bloodfly Whisperer. It's true because he... Whoop! Oh man, I got discovered. Ah, uh, yeah. I think he's kind of nasty, isn't he? Dude, there's no need to whisper. We're all friends here. We are all friends here. Ah. Uh, wow, well, you're dead. Oh, I'm gonna go and... Should I kill him? Yo. Ah. Uh, execution! <laughs> Ow. Okay. Well, that went pretty well, all in all. Now, that went pretty well. What does the phrase all in all even mean? All in all. I know it means, obviously, you know, like, to summing things up and to put a complete overview on things, but all in all. Like, it's, it's paradox fail. Paradox fail. There doesn't seem to be all that much around here. Good thing I don't easily get sidetracked, isn't it? Good thing indeed. Typewriter. If I could sell it for money, it would have some value to me. But there's very little of value in here so far, I'm going to say. Very little of value. Except for that. That's good. 30 coins. 30 coins is good. And... Whoa! Whoa. I love pest control with swords. Now, does that just mean there's... They're nasty because there's corpses in here. Oh, I want that. I want that. I want the, the solution. To replenish the health that I lost getting the solution. Uh, paradoxical fail. And now is there anything else in here? Like, there's really very little in here. You know, I killed a lot of nests for really very little, except to get some coins and stuff. So, last quick look around if there's nothing really obvious, and for me to find that it would want to be obvious, let's face it. Um, there was a book somewhere, wasn't there? There was a book. Oh, man. Alrighty. Uh, oh, heavy pouch. 30 coins. There was quite a few coins in here, so I guess it was just coins if you want to be completionist. And... Why do you need two typewriters? Obviously, it was some sort of secretary pool. Ah, uh, poor ladies. I feel for ladies who had to sit all day and type on their typewriters. Did they get calluses on their fingers? Did you know piano players don't get calluses on their fingers? And I've been... Oh, good job. Good job. I actually wasn't watching and I thought I had my blink out. Now, onwards. And I didn't have my blink out. Because, you know, a pistol, it's much noisier than blink and it doesn't actually blink you. So there's two reasons why you shouldn't use your pistol to try and blink yourself. 33 meters. 33 meters. Let's get over to where 33 meters is. 58 meters. Wait. What? 57 meters. Uh, 24 meters. And it's kind of underground. Um, okay. Let's see what's around here. I'm failing. What was that? Was that a... Oh, right, I just triggered... Yeah, I triggered a trap. Observational fails. Um, this doesn't... Go... Yeah, yeah, come on now. Come on now. Oh, there. They're not happy rats. I mean, is there a happy rat? Yes, there is. There really is. A very happy rat. Unfortunately, there's none of them in this city. Now, hopefully this leads me to a bone charm. A bone charm. Is it possible? I thought that was a person, and you know what? What the heck? It looks like a person without a head. What is going on here? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, he's dead. Is this the void? Are you the cursed outsider? I. I. Uh, I Um, is it wrong to put this guy out of his misery? What's going on? Is that a graphical glitch? 
I think that's a graphical glitch. Okay. But let's get the bone charm. Is this where I murdered a bunch of dudes before? It is. In the last episode, I came in here, completely failed to stealth, had the runaway hide in the cellar and murder everyone. And then... Um... Or was that like a trial run that I did? Maybe it was a trial run. I can't even remember right now. Can't even remember. There's a bone charm just up there. So, up there is where we shall just go to get the aforementioned bone charm. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Assassin's Fortune. Okay. Now, I want to get my rune skills up so that, I mean, more runes, so that I can, you know, craft bone charms. I actually want to start crafting bone charms. What else is left? One bone charm and one rune. Wait. Still two runes left and two bone charms. Which one's the closest? 114, 101, 170. All right. Okay, that one. That one is the one we're going to go get. Ah, that, that. Actually, I don't think we can get out that way. So let's go this way to get out of here. I don't think I can get that way directly from there. So we'll just go back outside. Look how slow I run, but I take much less damage. Wait, what? Alrighty. 29 meters. Look at me. Progressing. Progressionalizing. I don't think there's any enemies down here. And if there is, I've got a heart and I've got a sword. Wait. It's on the other side of this wall. Um... Ow! Did I just trigger another trap? Yeah, yes I did. Alright, well we can't get to it from here. We've obviously... Well, we'll eat that rat skewer now. Ah, uh, yep! Are they bad guys? No, they're good guys. They're okay. Oh! I'd love some soup. Abby, the Howlers, what's the difference? They're all bastards. Yep. I confess to you all that I have both been the recipient of soup kitchens and also done a little bit of work in soup kitchens. So, you know, win, win, win all around. And I guess I have a lot of compassion for the poor and for the homeless. And I, I really do because, you know, you never know. Whoa! Whoa, alright, fine. Looking for trouble. Oh, 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 Let's finish this. No, oh, oh, oh. things like that. Oh whoa. Someone's not feeling well. Alright, fine. That, that's oh. Not right. oh man, here was me. Here was me. Stop yelling. Go. <sighs> this can be too cautious. Well, the shop's getting knocked. Wait, what? I got totally sidetracked. Totally sidetracked. Hello. Do I need anything from you? I can't take this anymore. Wow. Um, gear. Do you have any runes to sell me? You have no runes to sell me. You have nothing to sell me. Alrighty. Let's see if there's any upgrades you can sell me. Uh, now, you want blueprints for better weaponry? Yeah, maybe, maybe I do. Uh, I don't use the crossbow really enough to even bother what? with. Somebody's not feeling well. Uh, I probably I should. Call a grand guard. I think I've bought all the upgrades for the pistol. Yes, yes, I have. Um, and <coughs> I've, what's this? Do you want to install this upgrade? I don't know what it does, but it, anything to do with the sword is good. I'll have it. Um, might as well. I don't even use... I haven't used the Spring Razor in the entire game so far, but I mean, I'm running out of money to spend things on. Wait, I'm running out of things to spend money on. I wish that was a problem I had in real life. I wish that was a problem I had in real life. Now, I really, really need to find... ...this blueprint, because it'll unlock these ones for me, and they're good. They look good. Alright. That will do for now. Come Thank you soon. so much, I mean, lovely lady. I'm still here. Ah, uh, howl up. Sorry. Wait, five meters. Oh, that's in the you shop, isn't it? For, I serve all sides. I've got to work out how to get into the shop to get that one. 
Alright, let's see if we can work out how to get in the shop. Uh, Alright, I'm reckoning it's gonna be up there! Wait. Oh man. I see so much. Once nearly all things were hidden. Um. Okay. Let's get to here. And then let's get across to the other side there. Just on top of that window. Wait. Let's have a quick look around. Because, you know, observational fails are my specialty. Alright, right there. That's where we're going. That's where we're going. And that did effectively nothing. So that didn't... Oh man, I know there's a bone charm nearby. It's right there. I can't work out how to get in there though. Um, no really obvious ways to get in there. Wait, over there. Let's try over there. Alrighty. Now we should be up a level from where we were before. Huh? What? Right, that's the store. No obvious windows. No obvious windows. Who's running the window? Mm. All right, fine. Oh, oh, don't do this to me, brah. Alright, obviously we're not getting in anywhere up there. But I wonder if we can get in somewhere around here. At least those dust storms blow over relatively quickly. Alright. There doesn't seem to be any realistic way to get in to in there. So, alright, we're going to move right along, because we've got to keep things moving. I'll come back and I'll do those real quick. Hello, sir. The roving feet, they love to trespass. Souls blackened with all manner of filth. Wow. <laughs> ah, the religion that I believe in has a lot of grace in it. A lot of grace. As opposed to yours, which has none. I am against legalism, and I am against fundamentalism. Just so I'm you know. That. What do you mean someone's there? You were just talking to me, you, you know, metalhead, metalhead. Now, let's see, now that I can actually see, you know, because there's no dust storms. Uh, Alright, no, we're going to go about this logically, logically, rationally, and professionally. Because that's how we do everything we do. Climb up there. Alright, no way in there. Right, so this this wall here, there's four sides we can really use to get in, except for that window. That's a... I see what to do, too. That's how... Now, all we've got to do now is figure out how to get to that door. Yes! Look at me! Progress! Win! Epicness! Alright, all we've got to do now is figure out how to get to that door, and that's how we get in there. Um, can I get in here? Please? Fine. You know, that's really how you blunt on a sword. Good thing my sword is... Maybe I should have it looked at. No, no! I don't think it's supposed to touch Um... Wow. This. <laughs> Just gotta figure out how to get to that door now. Bosses beware. When we're screwed, we multiply. There's a certain poetic truth to that. I rather like that. I rather like that a lot. Okay. Okay, you guys are back to just eating soup. Was the door in here? Yep, that's how you do it. That's how you get in there and rob the place. This door right here. Are you serious? Wait. I've totally disoriented myself again. The war scares off buyers. Who's worse? Overseer zealots or some wise asses been robbing black market shops. Um, the door was over there. Hang on. Totally disoriented myself now. Someone's my friend. I like Spanish. Uh right. Uh 
Um, all right, well, so we either need a key. A combination. Oh, are you serious? Well, I could sit there and brute force that, but I don't really want to. Oh, that's the door that I shot out. Okay. Do do do. I haven't really done very well here. Let's see if I can possibly... Oh, that's not going to let me get into the shop, is it? That's just going to be a random separate apartment. Oh, darn it. Oh, man. All right. Well, seeing as you're unconscious, empty bottles. Oh, thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing. Okay, well, there's some coins. But it wasn't really what we wanted. It wasn't really what we wanted. Now, bread. Yeah, I'll have that. Um, no obvious ways to get down into... Well, they're not going to let us get that bone charm either without a combination, so... Um... Okay, nothing there. Alright, so that's done. That's... I thought I was being really clever. And I suppose it was, you know, moderately clever. Where on earth would I even begin to get that from? Um... As a general rule, there is, um, no, I'm never going to find this on camera. I'll do it off camera. All right, one more. So what do we got? We've got a rune 90 meters that way, a bone charm that's just there. Yes, yes, yes. A full day's work. And another rune. How would she know what a full day's work looks like? All right, let's go check out that rune, because that's the last rune. And if we can't find that one quickly, I'm going to jump off. Oh, kick the bucket like that. Wait. Was that the rune back at the start? My ability to orient myself is terrible. Okay, so we're heading directly for that rune. Let's hope that rune's nice and easy to get. Nice and or easy to get. Alright, fine. See, I've just disoriented myself already. Pretty bad. Oh man, no, 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 no. Okay, that was where we just came from. Oh, if, if I head back to the original rune that I had, I'm going to be pretty sad. Wow. Oops, sorry, sorry. Here was me saying I have compassion for the poor because I've been there and then next minute, get out of my way, wench. Get out of my way. Places to do, people to be. Alright, let's go up there, because it might be interesting anyway. Have I been here? A oh, blueprint! Yes, we found a blueprint! Um... Oh, we really did head back to... Yeah. Oh, terrible. Alright. This time, Rocky, for sure! This time, for sure! Now, remember? That one? No. And... Oh, terrible! Pay what you owe. No. You're not the boss of me. You're not the boss of me. Now, we are really going to make very real progress this time towards this dude. Alright, good, good. Now, forwards. Let's get my heart out. Wear my heart on my sleeve. To the overseer's office. Is that where that rune is? It certainly looks like it's near the overseer's office. Now, I'm going to make a little comment about that overseer in the commentary, the uh, conversation I had with him, because... What the heck is that rune? Huh? Someone there, children. Wow. Huh? If the overseers don't arrest me for walking around in their headquarters... Oh, really? Um, okay, well... It's a breakable door, so... I'm sure nothing bad can happen. Probably startled a couple of people. Wow. What was that big bang, everyone? What was that big bang? I don't... I'm sure I don't know. Good sir, did you hear a bang? Wait, I probably shouldn't be carrying grenades around in my hands. I'll carry around this mechanical human heart that's totally not occult. Look, mechanical human heart, shouldn't you be doing something? 
Oh, look at me wearing a magical ring. The ring of the Empress on my finger. If that doesn't get you arrested, nothing's going to get you arrested. So anyway, there was a big explosion that I know nothing about. Nothing about at all. Ah, yes. Um, was there anything else in here? Raw whalebone. I like it. Alright, so, that's going to wind up this episode now because, you know... I've failed my way quite enough just now. Failed my way quite enough. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Love and all blessings. God bless you all. All be blessed and rich and prosperous and happy. And I will do my best to make that happen, if at all possible. If at all possible. And, oh, wow. Um, shouldn't you guys be taking those bodies down and giving them a decent burial? Give it, like, talk about... These guys are no Navy SEALs, that's for sure, you know, no one left behind. There's a guy like, you know, half a street away, and they're not doing anything. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching, this is Steve from Blockboy Games. It's good to be back, and I am back to be good. And I will see you all very soon on the next episode, We will actually go to Aramis Stilton's house. Aramis Stilton. Aaron Stilton? Yeah, Avon Stilton. Someone Stilton. Ah, I'm still getting it on with Avon. Do I even know oh, what I'm saying? Hello. No, no I don't. At first I thought you were one of Paolo's gang. But you don't look so bad up close. I look mighty fine up close. Please stay in the part of the shop open to the public. Ah, uh, yes sir. I've already been here and robbed it, so... Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching, and bye for now.